Probably some vampire bug. Hey garden maters, welcome to Corner Homestead. Yes, it's been a little while since I did another video, but only because I have just been so busy. Not on top of having a little bit of illness, but basically all is well, so. When to get out here in the yard today, it's not a particularly warm day. It is sunny and bright, but it's also on the cool side and definitely windy. Standing here in this dilapidated, terrible greenhouse I think I did a video about how this this greenhouse deteriorated and it hasn't even been a year since we put it up there are pieces of plastic vinyl plastic everywhere in here I mean it's just all over everything so yes this cover will be coming off this year gonna have to redo it just gonna do it with some standard thick mill plastic absolutely the worst greenhouse I've ever seen in my life that's why I did not and I didn't recommend any of my garden majors to buy this greenhouse it was off of Amazon it's just so bad I might as well be standing outside anyway came in here to give you a little update I want to get some of the garden beds ready to for planting started doing a couple of my annuals that I've planted just some geran geraniums and petunias things like that just starting to do that I have some sun patients I'm getting ready to plant into the front barrels but I came into the greenhouse because I did bring a couple plants out about almost two weeks ago put them in the greenhouse and they're doing really good even though they have plastic all over them got down pretty chilly last night about 49 degrees almost so I just wanted to come out because I knew with this not being heated I had to make sure they were doing okay so all of my tomato plants are in here my cucumber plants that desperately need to go into the ground. But I brought them out here to harden up and they've done a really good job with it. So I think before long, I'm gonna be planting those out in the yard as well. Wanted to give you an update on the holly I tried to propagate. It didn't work. Although this one looks like it might have one little root coming out of it, but I don't know. I may try to plant it just to see it's but I don't think they did very good. The, the sticks are pretty well dead. <laughs> so I dipped them in the rooting, rooting hormone, stuck them into the dirt like it said to do, and it just didn't really work out. So I don't know. I've seen people do it before and say that it worked, but it sure didn't work for me. This was the little bit of holly that I took back at Christmas time from the cemetery. I borrowed it. I don't think they're going to want it back. So let me show you what I've got in the greenhouse here and then I'm going to get out there and start doing some of the garden things and I want to show you some new ways that I'm going to be gardening this year. So let me show you what I'm doing this year. Okay, so this is what I've been telling you about. This is all of the tomato plants that I started. I only have five tomato plants in total, but this is three of them and these, they're over two foot tall. So they're really getting up there. And you can see all the holes in the greenhouse. These are the other two tomato plants. Right here are my green pepper. This is some calendula. And back here I have all of my cucumber. You can see they're binding out very well. Down here is some more calendula inside this greenhouse is terrible you can actually see the water on top of here it's like I said we had that rain yesterday nothing in here stays dry anymore and with all these holes it's like being outside so all of these plants are gonna have to go into the ground soon I'm just hoping the temperature I hope they start cooperating so if you have been with my channel for a while you saw last year how I took cardboard boxes and I lined them with contractor bags. 
used them for planters to plant my vegetables. It worked out great, but I knew it was only going to be a one season thing because that is what everybody claims that did that, that it was only good for one season. Now I can see you. <laughs> so what I'm doing this year is using these big milk crates. We found these in the back of the grocery store. They were gonna throw them away. They hold about six gallons of milk. I'm not even sure if I can get it all into the shot. There they are. So the principle is the same thing where I'm taking these, the contractor bags fit perfect inside. You put them in and they'll have a big overhang on the outside. And then I'm punching a bunch of holes into the bottom of the contractor bag. Once I have the holes punched, I'm getting Tony to tie a string around the contractor bag, all around the crate, making it tight. Well, you know, he's a man, he's got the muscles. So he can make them a little tighter than I can. So once the string goes on, I'm cutting off the excess contractor bag on the outside. And then I'm filling the bottom of them with some marble chip rock. And I'm putting in its raised bed potting mix. Adding my perlite and some fertilizing granules. It's working out perfect. I have 12 of these large size crates. And I have three of the regular size crates that hold just four gallons of milk. It's working out perfect. Let me show you what I mean. This is the potting soil that I've been using, the raised bed potting mix. They're pretty large bags and they were fairly cheap. I got them at Home Depot. It seems to have be perfect for everything. So this has been working out great because the big crates that I've been using, half a bag of this is perfect. And then I've been using the Vigoro marble chip. I know it's hard to see because I'm in the shade under the tree. But we put about a half a bag of that into each of the large crates. Into the bottom. It's perfect. A half a bag to a half a bag of the potting mix. And it's perfect. Got my mulch ready for the front garden. These are the rest of the annuals that I have to plant. These are the sun patients. I ordered these from QVC. Um, they're from Philip Watson. Can't wait to plant those. They're going to be so pretty this year. And right here is one of the finished crates you can see. I got the contractor bag inside and then it laps over. Got Tony to put the tight string around it and I have a filter to rock with rock about to here and the rest is all the garden soil along with the amendments got Tony to cut some chicken wire just to put over top because I have problems with the squirrels they want to get in there and dig around so until I plant in that the chicken wire will be perfect hello chick chicks y'all got some tomatoes in there to eat still have my baskets of course from last year this is another one that we did garlic is still doing very well and of course what I just planted so like I said, I've got this crate to do. So like I said, these hold the four gallons. That's the smaller size ones, which is what those two are. That one still has to be done. And I have six of them, the large ones, all along the driveway. It's gonna make for some fine planting space. So the wind is getting so bad out there, I came into the shed. I don't wanna be out there in that mess. But I think these crate idea is going to work really good this year because the contractor bags, I can tell you, did not disintegrate or anything last year. They were perfectly fine this year when I came out to check on them. After going through everything last year, they showed no signs of wear and tear. So the contractor bags held up great. It was just the cardboard boxes that did not because the cardboard actually got soft like it got wet inside i know it wasn't completely wet because it was covered too well with the contractor bags but it was apparently con 
condensation something got, got the moisture in there so like I said the contractor bags held out terrific it was just the cardboard boxes that didn't so I went ahead and took the dirt out of it threw them all away and like I said I think the crates are gonna work much better because they are after all plastic and I think they're definitely gonna hold up they won't disintegrate like the cardboard will and with the contractor bags I definitely think I'm going to be able to use them a lot more than just for one season. But like I say, the container gardens work perfect if you are limited on space anyway. Or if you have, uh, if you want to do gardening but you live in an apartment and all you may have is a small balcony. It's great to plant it in containers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Love to have you as part of the community. Love to watch the garden majors grow. And until next time, I love you all. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Wait a minute. Something just bit me. <laughs> something bit me on the back of the neck. <laughs> Probably some vampire bug. Whatever it was, it drew blood. I'm not going to go wash my neck. That's the only thing I hate about summer. Bugs. Oh, I feel creepy crawly now. Look, if I do that, you can see me better. What is it with lighting? It's time to go get the bug guts off and then get my hands dirty <laughs> did you wipe your paws on your towel <laughs> okay let's go you ready <laughs> okay let's go you don't believe me <laughs> you're too funny schmoo <laughs>